Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Alina Ghost and if you're new here, I have a nine month old baby boy called Aiden and this video is going to be all around baby hamper ideas, especially for a foreign mum or family who is bilingual. I'm going to go through some items today that you would ordinarily include um, naturally within a new mum and baby hamper but I'm going to add a twist to it because it's going to be for those mums who specifically want to teach their babies a couple of languages or more and if they're foreign and if they're bilingual. So I can't wait to actually share this with you because I myself am a bilingual mum. I speak both Russian and English at home. We live in the UK in Essex and I'm teaching my son more than one language because I want my son to know both languages if I do and to keep those traditions going because my family is Russian so surely he deserves to know both of those traditions too. So I'm going to be including bits that were gifted to me, things that I'm gifting my close friend who's due next month which is super exciting and also those things that as a mum I've grown to love and know what my baby absolutely needed as essential um, when he was growing up. Let's start off with clothes. This is something that you just can't walk past and can't not buy for a new baby hamper because it's just super adorable. I don't only love the clothes but also the little socks that come with like those tiny little sizes for tiny little footsies. So my friend Polina is having a baby boy so I ended up buying socks that were perfect for a little boy. I bought these from Next and they are super soft and very thick and obviously they come in like a blue and beige colour and they also have a lovely bears on them as well. These are perfect for the winter because they're nice and thick and as I said she's due next month which is February and I think that is going to keep his little footsies really cosy and warm. Another tip that I'm going to tell you about clothes though is don't only buy the newborn sizes. If you can go for a larger size so like six months and plus this is a really good idea. Um, this is a Winnie the Pooh onesie that I got her and basically it's just a practical way of ensuring that the new mum is going to have clothes not just for the first three months that he's going to be born but throughout the whole year. Let's talk about toys next and this is where we can get creative because I know in Russia we've got plenty of different characters that are Russian specific. Even Winnie the Pooh has a Russian version in Russia but they are also characters like Chiburashka and that's something that I was going to show you. Basically we've got a toy that is Chiburashka which is like a Russian character specifically who nobody knows what he actually is. And there's a complete like a great song about how he doesn't know what he is but he's made friends with like a crocodile and he's got other friends too. But this sings too, which isn't obviously essential, but I love a toy that actually is interactive. So whether it lights up or whether it's got like a voice mechanism like Chiburashka does. <coughs> Toys are a great way for mum and baby to interact and for baby to develop as well. So I love the fact that this one has a marker towards Russia as well and the character and the fact that the character speaks that language too because it's helping me as a new mum to teach my son that language through play and that's a fabulous way to actually get babies to get involved in that tradition in that language as well. There are plenty of other toys that you could get which is like musical toys, things that rattle, things that make noise light up but I also wanted to mention that a personalised toy is always a beautiful thing because it's like memorable and it's something that is particular to that baby so that baby can actually grow up and perhaps keep that toy until they're very much grown up and older. For example, we were given this 
teddy bear for my son. As you can see, it's got his name on it. It's very sentimental to me and it's something that I know that I'm going to cherish for a very, very long time until I pass it on to my son and he can keep it, perhaps even give it to his children. Sentimental gifts are perfect as well. For example, this is a record book and it's got things inside where you can actually document about the baby. So it's like meeting your parents, you add a little photo in there at the beginning, how they met. So you can even talk about like the mum and mum and dad. Um, you've got like an envelope inside where you can add like the scans so you know you get the pictures from the scans. Um, but also like other things too. You can get like a record for babies specifically around like when did they first walk, when their teeth came out. Um, other sentimental things could actually be like photo opportunity cards. I think they're called place cards. And the ones that we got are Disney specific. So when Aiden turns a specific week, we would use those place cards for photos. And we absolutely love this. Um, we've got him in every single week up until like month four, I think it is. And then it turned into monthly. And we absolutely love this to see the changes that they go through, especially early on. And I think that's a really lovely sentimental idea for any new mum. Have a think about music. When it comes to music, you can actually be more traditional here. So when it's a foreign mum or bilingual mum, you can think about the music in those countries specifically. So for example, my friend Polina actually got me this music here. So she got me a vinyl player and also a vinyl to go with it, which is... Tchaikovsky is a very famous and well-loved across the globe but it's so typical of Russia. It's a symbol of Russian culture. So if you're able to get something like that for a new mum, so music from that country, from their roots, it doesn't even have to be theirs. What if it's their partner's roots? Then they can all learn the language, learn the music, of that country together. Next up is don't forget the mum. Having some pampering ideas is a perfect way to tell new mums that they shouldn't be forgetting about themselves even when they've got the baby. So for example, I love hand creams. Hand creams are like an essential thing for me in my opinion, especially because we tend to wash our hands so much, so much more often when they're newborns. So this is actually from Laura Ashley. So having like a hand cream that's super luxurious is a great way to treat the mum. Other pampering ideas could be like sets. So I've got this one for example. This one's from John Lewis, it's Ritual. And basically it's about like um, bath stuff. It's about creams, it's about hand creams. So anything that you can think of for mum to actually pamper herself and take some time for herself is a great lovely gift within a hamper. The other thing is something more practical. Make sure that you include these because you can never have enough of these. So for example, uh, things like pseudo cream, Savlon, they're a must have. But also I wanted to show you a couple of items that I recommend to add into the hamper. Firstly, it's a thermometer. So making sure that you've got a thermometer in the cupboard and any new mum needs this. And not only because it's like the years of COVID, but also because you need to know the temperature of your baby. You also need to know the normal temperature of your baby because every person and every baby is different. The other thing that I can live without is actually a spray that is a sterilizing spray. I absolutely love this spray and I can't recommend it enough. This is ideal for things like teething toys, especially when they start picking things up and putting it in their mouth. But in the very early days, it's a really great thing to have when you're out and about for things like if you use bottles or you'd be surprised even like putting your fingers in your baby's mouth or their face for one reason or another where you, whether you're trying to get something out. For me, I was trying to get out my dog's hair out of his mouth quite a lot. So this spray is absolutely ideal. Next up is one of my favorite items and that's gripe water. I absolutely can't recommend it enough.
this liquid is so natural and it's perfect for when baby has tummy troubles with wind specifically. I used it with my son and I absolutely loved it because it's natural and I know that as soon as I gave it to him, he was better straight away, it calmed his stomach and he was able to sleep a little bit better straight after that, which is what you need as a new mum, right? You want your baby to sleep and you want them to sleep well. Something that I do is actually use like the syringe from the cow pole bottles and packs and use it on the gripe water liquid because I found that to be much easier to pop it in his mouth. So what I've done for my friend Polina is actually get a new one, so new cow pole, and pop this syringe with the gripe water together. So I definitely recommend you doing that too, just so that new mum finds it so much easier to use. Don't only think about toys though, have a think about teething toys as well. This is something called yummy rings but they also do yummy keys it's a very niche I'm not gonna open this box because it's for my friend Polina but I'm gonna show you ours because my son absolutely loved it he's been using it for months and months and he still uses it he's nearly 10 months old and he still finds it useful for teething it's basically in the shape of keys hence the name um, and it's got like spongy balls that are connected to it as well as a metal bit that is round so that it doesn't um, cut the gums for example but because it's cold and it's like rings because it makes a dangly noise he absolutely loves it and I also love the fact that it's a small business so I definitely recommend this particular teething toy. The other thing that I was gonna mention actually is that we use one of these so that if he drops it, because it's got a clip and it's connected to his clothes, it will never fall onto the ground. Next up is reusable sustainable products. I'm a big fan of these, as you know. I started a reusable nappies series, so therefore I would definitely recommend reusable nappies. They come in lots of lots of sizes and patterns and yes it could be difficult to decide which ones to go for because some of them can be really expensive. You can definitely get some bundles out there that are affordable, that are beautiful and that are perfect for any mum who wants to be sustainable, who wants to be eco-friendly when she's got a baby. The other sustainable thing that I recommend that you add into a hamper is breast pads. So these are reusable breast pads that I personally have used for nearly a year now. So because I'm breastfeeding, this is perfect and ideal for any new mum who wants to breastfeed or is even going to try breastfeeding. Because even if they end up using it for a week or two, they know that they're being eco-friendly. Having books as a gift is a fantastic idea because you can buy things that are high contrast for those babies who are very young or I love the fact that you can buy in the particular language of the family. So if the mum or dad are bilingual, like I've mentioned earlier, it's a lovely way to actually have both uh, those languages at home by using those books. So you've got the English books, I've got those Russian books because I'm Russian and I absolutely love educating my son through books through play, especially like this book, for example, my sister got us. It's a Russian book, but it also has a toy on it as well. And my son absolutely loves this. He loves to like play with it. He always smiles and laughs at me when I'm actually singing the song from within the book as well. So it's learning language, it's interacting with the toy at the same time so I definitely definitely recommend books that are in a particular language that the parent is trying to teach the baby. Personalised items are also a lovely idea to add into the hamper and that's the one that I'm going to finish up with. I think that they are sentimental and that is something that you keep forever and yes it can be a little bit difficult when the parents are keeping the name a surprise 
or if they don't know the baby's gender, for example, so they themselves don't know the name of the baby. But you can always personalize it in other ways, whether it's colors, whether it's the parent's surname, and whether it's actually just baby boy or baby girl. So my example is of having my son's name on the blanket. We still use it and we absolutely love it because it's something that you can always have around the house, especially something like a blanket. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please do give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please do subscribe. Hit that bell button so that you're notified about new videos coming up. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you include within a new mum and baby hamper, especially if they're foreign. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.